How did you become so absolutely obsessed with Indigenous issues? It begins uh, when I'm about seven. There was a teacher at a school that I was at down in Narrabeen, Gwen Annesley. She became the teacher briefly on the set of a film called Bush Christmas, in which there was an Indigenous boy, uh, Niza, who came from out around Alice Springs. He came to the school and he sang songs and he clicked his... Uh, boomerangs, and most impressively, he threw a spear with great accuracy with Woomera, and we all thought that was fantastic. Not too many years later, in 1949, my father, John Thompson, working for ABC Radio, went up into East Arnhem Land to do a feature on the first um, National Geographic expedition into East Arnhem Land. And he came back with sound recordings and 8 mil film and I was gone. I was just totally intrigued. I thought, it's all just outside my door. It's just there. I don't have to go to the other side of the world. And through the guide for that expedition, a man called Bill Harney, bless him, Bill arranged my first job on a cattle station called El Kidra, uh, on the El Kidra River. When I, I turned 15, just after I arrived there, so I found myself with the Aluara people and they treated me like their own. And I was the only white fella out there on the stock camp with all those Aluara men. And uh, I fell in love with all of that. And it's a, a love that continues to deepen. Yes, it does. Your face is now very sad, Jack. Ah, memory. Just remembering, just remembering. <laughs>